Hi, this is Matt Paulson. This is Hamza at Speaker's Corner in the United Kingdom. And he's challenging this guy, a Christian, saying that Islam is the only faith that brings peace, mind, body, and soul. And he challenges Christians as he says he's going to wreck their faith somehow. He's going to wreck their faith. So he's challenging them, prove that Christianity brings peace. Let's hear what he has to say. Islam is the only religion that can give you peace of mind, peace of the body, and peace for the soul. Nothing else can. Nothing else. But I challenge you, as a Christian, to show me how you have peace of mind. Because I'm going to wreck your mind. Because I'm going to wreck your mind. Well, he's challenging us to, to see if we have peace. Well, we do have peace because we have peace through Jesus Christ. But the world does not give us peace. Islam does not give us peace. Religion does not give us peace. Jesus brings peace. In Psalms 120, verse 5, it says, Woe to me that dwell among the tents of Kedar. Too long have I lived among those who hate peace. I am a man of peace, but when I speak, they are for war. And Kedar are the nomadic tribes of Arabia. In Isaiah 20, 21, Arabia is cursed. Matthew 5, 9 says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the sons of God. In Luke 1, 79, Zechariah's song says that John the Baptist will shine on those living in the darkness and will guide our feet to the path of peace. In Luke 2, 14, the angels say, The glory in the God in the highest and peace on earth to men. In Mark 9, 50, it says, have salt to your, in yourselves and be at peace with each other. So Jesus brings inner peace. Jesus brings peace in a way that we don't really can explain sometimes. Jesus says in John 14, 27, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give as the world give. In John 16, 33, I've told you these things that you may have peace. Matthew 10, 34, Jesus says to the disciples, I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. Man against father, daughter against mother. Man's enemies will be the members of his household. Think about it. How does Jesus bring a, a sword? He comes and he, he brings the gospel of good news into the family. And when some people become believers, other people deny it. And you have disruption in the family. So Jesus brings peace. You must be born again in John 3.3. 3. John 8.36, Jesus sets people free. In John 8.51, you do not even see death if you believe in Jesus. In John 10.16, there's other sheep that Jesus will bring. In John 10.27, the sheep get eternal life. Uh, that, that brings peace. John 14.1, I do not, says, do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God, trust in me. I am going to prepare a place for you. In John 14, 23, the Father and Jesus will come and make their home inside believers. What do you think they will bring? Turmoil? No, they will bring peace. John 14, 27, Jesus says, peace I leave with you. Peace I give you. I do not give peace as the world gives. John 17, 15, Jesus prays that we are pr protected from the evil one. If we're protected from Satan, guess what? We have peace. In 1 Timothy 6.10, uh, some have wandered from the faith. In 2 Timothy 2.13 says, If we are faithless, God is faithful to bring us to completion in Him. So in Numbers 6.26 is this priestly blessing. It says, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord turn His face upon you and give you peace. In Islam, there is no peace. The tents of Kedar brought war uh, 2,000 years ago. Islam today, they, they put on a false front that says that they are about peace. Islam does not mean peace. Islam means submission to the Quran, to Muhammad, and to the Hadith. There is no peace in Islam. Satan lives in their minds, in their nose, in their heads, and it comes out in... Uh, Quran 64 says that hatred and animosity is the foundation of Islam. I challenge Hamza to come to Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen.